How is this even possible? Playing the latest AAA games at 60 FPS with ray tracing on a Steam Deck. Kind of insane, right? No, you use a cloud service and not anyone because many of them are not good. You use GeForce Now, they have a native Steam Deck app now and you don't have to pay 20 bucks each month because many YouTubers tested this with the ultimate tier and this costs you 20 bucks. No, I'm showing you the performance tier with games on the Steam Deck and this is only 30 bucks for the first six months for the complete six month and this is really cheap but you might be wondering what performance you get because if you don't choose the ultimate here where your games run on, on RTX 4080 this is the performance one and your games run officially on an RTX 2080 that's the blue one on the right and the Steam Deck has a GPU or APU which can be compared to a 1060 about that maybe a little less so it's almost double the performance plus ray tracing. One thing, if you don't know that, you don't have a subscription service for games. This is only the infrastructure. That means you have to connect your uh, Steam Deck account or your Game Pass subscription account within GeForce Now. And then you can only play those games which you either own or which you have in a subscription service. Okay, let's try Forza Horizon 5 first. And let's see how this runs with the GeForce Now performance tier. I set all settings to either high or ultra. And one downside, by the way, is this loading time. It's regardless of which game I tried, it's about two or three minutes, I guess. And it's not the queue time. And I don't know if the loading time is better in the, in the ultimate tier. So when running this game, you immediately notice that it runs very fluid, 60 FPS. I guess I didn't check it, but it's really to me it looks like 50, 60 FPS and everything is fine. You got great graphics and this is not possible on the native Steam Deck app. Um, you can't run Forza Horizon 5 uh, with this frame rate, um, with uh, ultra and high settings. This is not possible. So. And it also, there wasn't any lags or glitches, but I have, you have to tell you that um, I didn't, couldn't record that, but when I didn't record, <laughs> there were some, there were times like after three or four minutes, the whole game stopped for like um, three or four seconds. So that's when you notice it's a cloud service. I experienced that at home, a very stable, very uh, low latency internet connection and also at a friend's house. So I don't know if it is the connection or it's the service itself. So I play for a while, <laughs> when you can, but you can skip to the next game if you like. The next one is Flintlock The Siege of Dawn. I set everything to high and I'm showing this one because it has some really nice ray tracing effects. See the water reflections and everything. The game itself is not the best gameplay wise, but it's kind of nice. I love it because it has that visually captivating magical elements with, with gunpowder combat. It's an action RPG. So again, if you play this on the Steam Deck natively, you can only play it with like 40 FPS and set everything to low. So this is a huge difference. And as you can see, everything looks so nice and I didn't see any frame rate drops or anything again. I think after I played a while, once it was, it stopped for a few seconds. I, I don't know if that's the uh, servers there, it's my internet connection, but actually my voice, mine is really stable. So again, this is, this looks so cool and <laughs> it's amazing what you can play on this on this great OLED display in, in, in such quality on the Steam Deck. Okay, now a big AAA game, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Uh, everything was set to high except for the volumetric quality and I think these are even the, the settings which uh, the game auto suggests or auto detects. Okay, I was really surprised by all the cinematic details you can notice now on the Steam Deck, which is would not be possible at all 
when you play this game natively on, on the deck, it's really, really with low settings and and uh, jaggy and low uh, performance. It's impressive. It's really impressive how stable everything runs at 60 FPS. And it everything feels so cinematic in this game. O honestly, I didn't expect <laughs> cloud gaming with a triple A game uh, to be that 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 good <laughs> and playing something this big on a steam deck oled or on the steam deck in general it feels kind of magical look at all those great details look at the lights and everything it's <laughs> it's fascinating really okay so i by the way this is from my um, game pass subscription and I can show you another part of the game now because this is, was my save point and um, I couldn't load uh, one from before. I'll play a few more seconds, but you can skip to the next game if you like. Now, Claire Obscure Expedition 33. This might be one of the most beautiful games you can play on the Steam Deck right now. Seriously, look at this. Let's check the settings real quick. I limited the FPS to 60 as usual and set everything to high. Natively on the Steam Deck, you can only run it with medium settings and around 30 FPS or something. There's a mod to, to make it run better, but it means fiddling around and it's not really comfortable. And as you see here, with GeForce Now streaming, it runs beautifully at high settings and with fluid 60 FPS. It's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and my characters look so red because they are covered in blood and I was in a fight recently. <laughs> Okay, in this last section, just some random games. This one is Stalker, Heart of Chernobyl. I set almost everything to high or most of it, some to medium. And as you can see, it runs perfect on via GeForce Now. The next one is Sifu. That's a fighting game and input lag is important here. And I, honestly, I didn't notice any and it also ran great. I had one um, hiccup, something like that once, but that, that was it. And the last one is SnowRunner, just for fun. It also works great. I think I set everything to high. And that was it. And if you have any questions about GeForce Now on uh, streaming on the Steam Deck, please let me know in the comments and see you in my next video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Oops, I forgot something. Some final words from my special friend. I just tried GeForce Now and honestly, I'm impressed. The performance, the frame rate, the quality, 